price to earnings ratio is just 3.8, so this company seems extremely cheap. The financial health is very, very impressive. And I just don't want to have anything to do with a company that is Hello friends, Medifast is listed on the Magic Formula investing website. What it means is that at the first glance, this company looks strong and cheap. So let's see, is it a great investment opportunity or is there a reason for such a low price? Medifast is known for selling weight loss and health related products. Its main product is Octavia, which involves packaged foods, some recipes and personal coaching. And now it gets really cool. They sell this product mainly through so-called coaches. And if you want to become their coach, you don't have to know anything about health or food. You just have to buy your Octavia business kit for $199 and you can start making money. Oh, and if you recruit new coaches, you get certain bonuses. And if they recruit other coaches, they also get bonuses. I think you know where I'm going with this. And the best part is that if you look at their income disclosure statement, you can see that you have a 40% chance of not even making your $199 back and only 4.5% chance of making over $30,000 a year. Oh, and to achieve that, you would have to work on average for more than three years. So this can be called dropshipping or multi-level marketing or just a good old pyramid. And that model does not have the best reputation. And actually, the company was fined $3.7 million for false advertising in 2012. But what is funny, Mediafast was named one of the Forbes' 100 most trustworthy companies in America just four years later but now they are losing customers. When we look at the recent results, we see that revenue is down 32.9% year over year, net income is down 30.8%, but cash is up by 7.7% and debt is down by 20.5%. And they intend to end this year debt free. So that is impressive. We also recently learned that LifeMD and Medifast will partner to offer transformative weight management solutions. So people are moving away from its main product, but they are already preparing something new. And they used this strategy before when launching Octavia, which was based on a product developed in the 80s. So there are some warning signs here, but... Um, Maybe I'm wrong. Let's dig deeper. If you were to invest $1,000 into this company 10 years ago, you could buy around 37 shares. And now they would be worth something close to $1,322. And that is a gain of 32% in 10 years. That is not a lot, but if we would sell at its peak, we would gain 1,128%. So this stock is down from its peak by 89.2%. Individual Insiders, that is an X, 1.8% of the company is owned by individual insiders and we would like to see this number over 2%. So it's not quite there, but its management has some skin in the game, so that is good. And are individual insiders buying? That is an X. We see a lot of buy and sell transactions in the last year, but they are selling much more shares than they are buying. And do super investors own this company? That is a check. We see one super investor and it is Bill Miller. 
and is he buying right now? That is an X. In the last quarter, he did not make any changes to his position. Return on invested capital. That is a check at 50.9% 10-year median returns. So that is absolutely incredible. And what do we know about net profit margin? It is a check at 9.3% and the industry median is 3.4%. So this shows that they are one of the strongest companies in this industry. And now let's take a look at share buyback. It is a check in the last 10 years. They bought back 16.2% of their shares. That is nice because long-term investors are getting a bigger portion of the company without investing any extra money. And the debt? It is a check. It would take about a month to pay the long-term debt with a current free cash flow. And like I said before, they plan to end this year without any debt. The financial health is very, very impressive. Revenue growth. That is a check at 12.7% 10-year compound annual growth rate. And we would like to see this number higher than 10%, so a decent growth. And free cash flow growth, that is also a check at 16.4% in the last 10 years. Okay, and earnings per share growth, that is a check at 18.1% in the last 10 years. Well, not only the financial health is impressive, but also the growth. That is nice. Medifast is not paying currently any dividends. They probably could afford it, but it seems that they are rather focused on growth of the company. And also they are buying back shares in the meaningful way. So shareholders are getting value that way. Price to earnings ratio is just 3.8. So this company seems extremely cheap. But we will use a discounted cash flow formula to value it and we will make three scenarios of its future growth. So in the lowest scenario, we will estimate a decline of 10% for the first five years and then a decline of 5%. In the medium, a decline of 5% and then no growth. And in the high scenario, no growth for the first five years and then 3% growth. So we want to be very conservative here because recent results are worrying and there are more and more negative opinions about the product and the company itself. In just a few minutes, I found articles that stated it might help you lose weight fast, but it can lead to some less than pleasant side effects or a starvation diet and harmful MLM scheme. So the low scenario predicts really tough times ahead of this company. Medium is predicting that next five years will be bad, but then they may get going again with a new product or service. And the high one is predicting that it is going to be tough, but they will manage to grow the business and find new customers. So with such estimates, the intrinsic value in the low scenario is $88, in the medium $122, and in the high scenario $163. But we have to always apply a margin of safety to those prices. I use a 30% one. And with such a margin, we get in the low scenario $62, in the medium $85, and in the high one $114. And the current price is around $34. So just as the price to earnings ratio suggested, this company is extremely cheap. At the first glance, it looks great. The price, financial health growth, it's all good, even very good. But if something looks too good to be true, we should be very careful. We have to figure out 
Why is the market so afraid of this investment? We have to dig deeper, understand the moral and financial problems with multi-level marketing. If we look at all major MLM companies, we see a pattern. It goes up when it's trendy and then people realize that either the product is not as good or that they can't make serious money as coaches and the stock tumbles down. We have to also understand what do customers think about this product, what opinions we can find on the internet, what are doctors saying about it and so on, because that can determine the future of this company. So this can be a great investment, but it can also be a trap that will go to zero. And as investors, we buy a part of the company. We own a piece of it. And I just don't want to have anything to do with a company that is structured as a multi-level marketing operation. I want to own compounders, companies that will be worth more in the future, not companies that may have a great year or two and then go down again. If you have a great health product, and I'm not sure this is a case, but if you do, just sell it to people. Don't sell them the story of great job opportunity if they just buy your Octavia business kit for $199, knowing that 40% of them will never get their money back. So maybe it is a great opportunity. And this stock will do fantastic in the coming years. But I don't believe in that product and I don't believe in this company. So it's just not for me. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.